what's up? So I want to rap to you a little bit. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to end up rap. The first thing I want to rap to you about, uh, I had unveiled this um, in one of my videos regarding protests. Um, and I was discussing this with a friend on Facebook uh, the other day. He uh, sent me a, a very interesting article um, about the shitlords. Uh, I can't remember what the article was titled, but it was basically about the shitlords of the alt-right and Antifa, which was awesome. Uh, again, that wasn't the word used, but that's what it was. Uh, so I did just want to kind of read, you know, I, I, we'll read kind of verbatim, we'll basically say verbatim exactly what I, what I responded, because uh, I think it's important. Um, let me just find, uh, I mean, it's basically everything I've already said here, but I do just want to read it, um, and then I want to get into the formula because uh, I, I, I made an addendum to the formula that I had broken down before. Um, and I won't putz with the numbers anymore because I was just trying to. And the numbers can definitely be, uh, what's the word, adjusted. Um, at any rate, so I did just want to, uh, uh, so my thoughts are, anyone putting their hands on someone in an act of aggression, unless doing so in defense from an act of aggression towards the self or surrounding innocence, I view as immoral. Which, again, I've already kind of laid that out. Uh, the white-hooded man has just as much right as the black-masked man or the black, purple, red, yellow, orange, Jewish, Muslim, Christian man, etc. to exist until such a time as an aggression has been committed, uh, as I discussed in the video, uh, the right to exist. Uh, but the basic idea... Oh, again, so the, the uh, National Review article was basically saying that jackasses will be jackasses. Uh... You know, violence will be violence, boys will be boys. Uh, groups that are spoiling for fights are always going to be spoiling for fights. For fights. Uh, so, but the basic idea that jackass is spoiling for fights will always be jackass is spoiling for fights is true. I even relate such thinking and violence to mental illness in another video, uh, which you all saw. Uh, some people are so full of hatred, mainly for themselves and their lives, that they need to take it out on others. And then it becomes addictive, and you do more and more. And I believe there are actually psychological studies about this, but I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure there are. Uh, I was actually at Berkeley just to witness the hysteria and moral panic. And I was struck by, uh, so 85% of the people at these sorts of protests, uh, which was which is what it was for about an hour, uh, are there because they've been lied to. In, in other words, they actually believe that there's a number of Nazis and Klansmen not only in this country, but will be there marching with their costumes on. 14% are extremists of either side. Again, these numbers uh, adjust to your liking, I guess. 40% uh, are extremists on either side. And by that, I mean they aren't just marching, but are speaking from bullhorns, passing out the signs they didn't make. Uh, some of them even make signs, though most of the people who make their own signs, this group definitely falls more into the 85% than the 14%, don't realize that signs are already being made and distributed. Uh wearing some sort of uniform and refer to the others in dehumanizing more than likely untrue terms than not, such as calling someone a Nazi. The actual Nazis have been dead for quite some time. Now, in my truest, most sincere hope, I'd like to believe only 2% of this 14%, 1% of either side, uh, is violent, but I'm not sure if that's even true. Then there's 1% of folks there to merely observe. Not that they don't have an opinion, but they refuse to play the moral panic at false dichotomy game. Uh, which, that, hell, we'll probably wrap up that once we're done here. But, uh, people who are angry and or who have been lied to and are motivated enough by their hatred to go, call people names, and yes, even be violent. Their lives are such dog shit that they need to bash someone's head in with a brick or shout someone down and censor them or call them names or get them fired for merely existing in a public space or existing, period, in order to feel good which is why an important job like working with the populations we serve, uh, we both serve people with disabilities, uh, is so important for our souls. Um, and I think I did mention this in the uh, video relating all this to mental health, but I can't emphasize this enough. Um, this, you know, hatred, violence, it is an addictive force. If you don't have, uh, to paraphrase a, a quote from Southland, you know, it's really easy to be a good cop if you feel like you ain't got shit to go home to. It's real easy to go out and bash people's heads in with bricks if you feel like you ain't got shit to go home to. If you have a shit life, you hate your fucking job, uh, your wife won't fuck you anymore, you know, whatever <laughs> whatever your situation is. Uh, but it's, it, it's why having something that nourishes your spirit is so, so important. 
whatever that is. If it's your job, all the better. If you're working 40 or, you know, like me, fucking 80 hours a week, uh, you might as well be doing something that nourishes your spirit. Frankly, the more hours you work, it better be fucking nourishing your spirit. Otherwise, you need to examine what the fuck you're doing, spending more than 40 hours a week with it. Honestly. Um, and, and the great thing is that even if that nourishes your spirit 80 hours a week, or you know, 40 to 80 hours a week, you're nourishing your spirit, which is awesome. You can do even more things that nourish your spirit also. So that way you're just uh, cultivating love in you and hopefully you attract love back you don't always but uh hopefully you, you attract love back um and for you don't always see my uh, other youtube channel surviving the female narcissist anyways um uh and so if if you're cultivating positivity love happiness uh soul nourishment not only in your job in the job that you do in your 40 to you know 100 or god ungodly hours a week that you're spending but then in your off time as well i mean that's so beautiful if your only soul nourishment is you know 10 hours a week outside of work or nothing which leads to fucking bashing people's heads in with bricks and shit then you're a really miserable human being um anyways so back to this uh Oh, so which is why an important job uh, like working with the populations we serve is so important for our souls. If it weren't for this work, I'd have very little. Uh, I oh, so I'm saying if it weren't for the work I do, I'd have very little hope and faith in humanity. Oh, this is what I wanted to talk about. So I'll get into this as soon as we're done here. Uh, <laughs> I have very little hope and faith in humanity and the resilience of the human spirit, and perhaps even less respect for individuals. Maybe. Um, oh, okay. Uh, so then the article had mentioned uh, Tiny uh, and Joey Gibson, a Patriot pair. So I said, who knows, maybe Tiny's statement of, if I hadn't found Joey, I'd be Antifa, could be said of me, although I don't know what violent cause I would take up because I'm not a violent person. <laughs> uh, or anyone, for that matter, which I think is true. Um, I guess another simpler way to put it is, if you don't love and respect, you'll hate and denigrate, and vice versa. Uh, because ultimately that's the choice we have in uh, that's the choice we have for everything in varying degrees we either accept tolerate like love something or not on a side note I unfortunately didn't get to meet either of them but I've talked to Joey Gibson a bit he's uh, an absolutely kind soul uh, blah 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 let's see uh, okay basically the short version of all this is how moral are you and your ideas if you're applying force to achieve them further you're not morally superior Sorry, I had another message there. Uh, for, further, you're not morally superior to someone who thinks or speaks stupid things. If you think the best way to convert them is to punch them or bash their skull in with a brick. In fact, I would say you're morally inferior because while the jackass is simply speaking stupidity, ignorance, or hatred, whatever the case may be, the morally righteous, so-called, yet not so that he doesn't feel the need to cover his face, jackass is being physically violent and harming others instead of discussing, questioning, educating. Um, again, and I discuss this in relating all this to mental health. The only way to eradicate uh, any idea that, that we find incorrect is to talk about it, discuss it. Uh, that's why you go and you pay your therapist, you know, X amount of money every week. Oh, you know, my fucking shoelace broke. I'm such a fucking idiot. I should kill myself. Your therapist goes, oh, you schlub. Like, no, you broke your shoelace. You shouldn't kill yourself for that. You go, oh, thanks, doctor. I guess I won't fucking kill myself. Glad I uh, let someone check that for me. Otherwise, I'd have fucking killed myself. That would have been a motherfucking shame. Um, okay, so here's, here's my addendum. Um, I was just thinking about this, and I'd like to expand a bit on the 14%. So again, the the 85% chunk and the 14% chunk, those numbers, I mean, you could adjust them if you want to, to you know, 90, 10, or 99, respectively, um, if you so choose. Um, so, uh, but next to the violent 2% uh, of this of this 14%, it further breaks down into probably 3%, 1.5% of each ideological side. In these ideological extremes clashing uh so 1.5 uh, percent of each side are going to be your larpers or trolls um or those mainly there for camaraderie uh and maybe four percent two of each are infiltrators or double agents of the uh of the opposing side uh and probably of that four percent one percent aren't on the extreme 
of the other side or either side for that matter of which they are infiltrating and therefore while they may be technically infiltrating they aren't devil agents and are more like observers or even disruptors so they probably fall into the one percent of observers just as a technical matter uh that i the the one percent that i already mentioned um the for 85 14 one um okay um and therefore, while they may be technically infiltrating, they aren't devil agents. And are more like observers or even disruptors. Um, I'm in the middle of infiltrating a group and hopefully trying to wedge something in there. Uh, again, not because they are the diametric opposite, but because they see the damage the group they're infiltrating is doing. For example, uh, I even say, for example, I'm in the process of observing a leftist group that, while not at least on the front, militant outright, they don't seem to dismiss being militant. But I'm there because I need to see things for myself and mainly concerned because of their opposition to three spe uh, to free speech. Um, oh, oh, okay. And then I added, added an addendum to that even. I said, make that 3% infiltrators, 1% camaraderie, separate from the trolls. Naturally, there's overlap. Uh, t -t 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 Uh, okay. And then I said, uh, you know, they just all seem very terribly afraid of any ideas that aren't their own that require and or request a dialogue conversation or at least refutation beyond name calling and bashing people's heads in with bricks, which is troubling to uh, put it lightly. Um, so, okay. Hopefully someone got something out of that. Um, but I did want to wrap a little bit now about, um, the resilience of the human spirit. Uh, the beauty of the human spirit. You know what? I think we're going to split this into a couple of videos because this one took a minute. Um, so I think I, I think I'll do a couple other videos here. Actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is what we'll do. We'll uh, stop here, and I may or may not continue on with a with another video in about you know ten minutes. So uh, that's all for now. Hopefully, uh, I didn't go too fast, and someone got something out of this. Uh, Maybe I should write it down for y'all. I don't fucking know. Uh, <laughs> uh, until next time, speak, listen, understand. Don't throw rocks. Don't bash people's heads in with bricks. I do really mean speak, listen, understand.